OK, cool. Now, the next step is for me to share the slides. <laughs> Thank you. There are actually only a few people I see at the moment. So maybe we should uh, hold on for uh, a few minutes or so. I mean, it's not the hour yet to see if more people will join. OK, I've started sharing the screen. Let me just go presentation mode. Can you all see the screen? I mean, my screen share. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Am I still on actually? Am I still? Can someone type on the chat? Uh, Okay, good. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Amir. Good to see you all, guys. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, hello, George. Uh, can you see the slides, by the way? Um, yes, okay, good. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, let's, uh, maybe we should just hang on for another two minutes or three, uh, two minutes, let's say, to see if more people will join, because <laughs> there are uh, uh, far less people than usual. But this is also normal as things get harder, you know, uh, more people drop out and also, you know, I guess. Okay. Maybe I should run a poll. Let's see how I'll run another poll just to have a thing how the, the level of difficulties so far that we created while we burn some time for other people to join. Um, we will finish on the hour, so don't worry with that. Um, how difficult, let's see how I should ask this. How difficult is, is the course getting harder? Is the crash course getting harder? For you? Say yes, no. More or less. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so at the bottom, you should see a poll uh, asking if the crash course is getting um, harder for you. Okay. Please vote. This will uh, make a more informed decision in terms of uh, adjusting the content or maybe the approach. <laughs> okay, so it seems 75%, uh, at least those who voted so far, uh, say no. So this is good. Um, and then 1%, uh, sorry, 25%. Uh, I took this course in college. Somebody say, uh, Barry, I have a uh, high to learn for following along with the abstract. Yes, yes, I know. I know. I know, I know about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. OK, so yeah, so I guess let's crack on. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback. Um, just before I, I start, can you hear me? Can you still hear me? 
Okay, good. So let's crack on. Welcome to uh, uh, session five. Um, I know this was uh, uh, scheduled, it meant to be done uh, like two or three weeks ago, but uh, unfortunately I fell ill, so we had to cancel it twice. So, but hopefully we are now back on track. So today's agenda is this. So we'll split uh, again in, in different parts. On YouTube, I'll split this in three parts. So the main parts are part A and part B. Today, part A, we will cover, uh, uh, continue our, our, our notions of uh, connectedness by covering uh, another uh, uh, um, follow-up uh, notion called part connectedness. Um, and then we'll cover compactness. I wanted to uh, cover paracompactness, but I think we will do that. Uh, it's better to do that uh, in the next uh, lecture, in the first part of the manifold section, uh, because it's 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 a weaker notion anyway than compactness. Uh, any compact space is paracompact in these things, so it's not a big deal. The most important thing I think is to for you guys to have time, especially for those of you who are struggling to have time to wrap your head around. So I didn't want to put too much content, cover too much. <laughs> okay, so um, let's. Look at our progress. So we are here. So this is the last session, uh, the last se uh, session of this uh, metric topology section. So uh, that means in the next uh, lecture, we will already start uh, getting into topological manifolds. Now, let's uh, rewind a bit, uh, not just the the, the, thing, the motivation for this uh, uh, and also the, uh, the, the, the grand plan that we had. So, so far we've been here on topological, in abstract topological spaces, even though we are, uh, you know, in, 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 in being, uh, encountering concrete spaces uh, through the uh, metric topology, it's still very, uh, very general uh, enough. So for our purposes, we need to start getting a little bit narrower. Yeah, so in the next session, we will start, we'll jump into uh, topological manifolds. Topological manifolds are also topological spaces, but they are very uh, specific type of uh, um, uh, topological spaces. And then hopefully uh, um, we will then get to uh, differentiable manifolds or more precisely uh, uh, smooth manifolds, which is what we need in order to understand uh, what a Lie group is, okay, for module two. So just a reminder for those of you who are joining us, uh, this crash course is essentially motivated uh, by this uh, module two, which will cover Lie theory, Lie groups, Lie algebras, and the representation. And because uh, I didn't want to start from uh, like uh, scratch, I decided to give this uh, 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 crash course to make it easy for people to to uh, to to get get on with the with the Lie groups and, and this thing, uh, this stuff. The way that uh, the uh, um, uh, the group and the manifold structure is inter uh, you know, uh, coexist together. This is something we will do in module two. For the time being, we'll just just to give you a flavor of this uh, these guys. 